welcome to a really exciting up close video. So this one, as you can see here, is for the brand new Tonic Stamp Club. I'm so excited for this release, uh, or the this whole concept that they're bringing out a stamp club as well. So we've now got the Tonic Craft Kits, which have stamps, dies, all the nouveau, the Designer's Choice, which are just die sets, and now we've got the Stamp Club as well. And not only is this just one stamp set for the stamp club there's coordinating dies that go with the main stamp set and there's also like an extra add-on stamp set as well which i'll also show you in this video so the day you're seeing this video should be 25th of september which is when it launches and i just wanted to let you know as well there is also a um blog hop going on with a load of am amazing crafters um i presume it's going to start on the tonic blog but i'm not 100 percent sure but i will make sure in the description below the video to put um, the link to the first per first person who's in the blog hop so that you can hop along um, all the blogs as well if you want and I will have a, a blog post in that as well uh, which I'll show you the card of actually um, later on in the video um, and also because this is launching on a Friday there will also be the weekend deals on on the um, Tonic Studios website so the UK and the USA website so if you're getting hold of this um, while you've got like your free delivery or to make it up so you get free delivery and uh, make sure to check out the weekend uh, deals because I'm sure there's going to be some uh, brilliant offers on Nouveau products to go with um, your stamping and stuff so I thought I'd mention that as well and so this um, stamp club this first issue is called Heartfelt Corsage and it is a really beautiful stamp set. It's um I think it's the same designer that um has had like drawn the some of the other releases of stamps that have come out. It seems to me like a familiar style. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like a familiar style to me. So if you liked those stamps, um you know the the larger A5 stamp sets that Tonic brought out um last year, I guess now. Um, then you know you'll probably like this style of the stamp set as well. So it comes in this gorgeous folder, which is amazing. It's really it's got like some of the actual stamp designs on it. So I presume it'll be a different one each month with the different um, stamped images on there as well. And it says says Stamp Club on there too. And it's a really nice sturdy folder. So if you wanted to keep them in this, you could. But inside. I'm sorry that my stamps are dirty as well, but you can tell that I've been um, using them a lot. These actually come in the same size folders that the Designer's Choice die sets come in. So um, if you're familiar with those and you've got a system of storing them, this should fit into the same system. I don't know whether Tonic are going to bring out um, a folder specifically to keep the stamp club in. I'm hoping that they do, but I don't know. Um, I haven't heard anything about it. But... Um, Hopefully they will and we'll have some cool storage for it. But you can just use a standard um, A5 ring binder that has the two hole punches. Or if you did manage to get the newest size of the die storage folders that Tonic brought out in their birthday event a few months back, um, that fits these absolutely perfectly as well because it had more of an A5 kind of sized um, pocket in it too. So that would be a great way of storing them if you managed to get hold of any of them. So... Um, this is the main actual stamp club. I think this. I don't. I, I don't know the prices or anything yet because um, it's a bit ahead of time. But I think that the whole concept is is you buy them both together. It, there might be an option to just buy the stamp set or the die set. Well, you, you probably wouldn't want the die set by itself, but you might be able to buy this, just the stamp set if you'd rather just have the stamp set. But it does have the coordinating die with it, which is brilliant. And this is an enormous stamp set. It's a 6x8 one, so roughly A5 kind of size for those of us in the UK. Um, and some really stunning designs on here. And also on the back of this, um, on I think it's the same... Oh no, it's different pictures on that one. I didn't realise that. I can't wait to see some of these designs come out that you've got like sneak peeks of on the back of the packaging. Um, but this whole concept was thought up by Maria Willis. Um, I think that's how you say her name. I hope it is. Um, and it all tells you about her like whole concept of wanting to have the stamps with the matching dies and stuff as well. So um, I think this is a brilliant concept that she's come up with. And let's have a look at the dice or the stamp set rather so um let me just get a piece of white to go behind it sorry that they are dirty but um i really have been enjoying them i've used all of the decorative images off this one a few sentiments i haven't had a chance to use yet but um this flower i think is my favorite 
it is so beautiful. I really love like the little centerpiece and everything in this flower. Really, really gorgeous. Then you've got a little cluster which has a similar kind of um, flowery style or it's actually the same kind of flower as this one too. But this one's got a little bit of foliage in, a small little flower and some more like spriggy branchy kind of things. And then you have this massive one which is an entire cluster which like fills the front of an A2 card which I'll show you uh, later on. And this has got more of this gorgeous style of flower in there, really gorgeous, like big more rose designs, um, little more open flowers like this one. You could always um, cut these out with the dies and add them on top and make a bigger kind of um, clustered embellishment of flowers as well. And you've also got these small um, sort of just opening kind of flowers or more bud like flowers, a little sort of daisy kind of flower, a real mix of loads of gorgeous foliage and um, florals in there too. You've got like bigger leaves as well as the sort of branches and ones that are attached to the small flowers as well. So I think this is a great one for you to practice your colouring with as well. Um, and the Nuva alcohol pens are absolutely perfect for colouring these in as well. Or if you're more of a watercolourer then your um, aqua flows will be absolutely perfect too. I did use alcohol pens just because alcohol uh, pen colouring is my favourite. And I haven't done any in a while so I really wanted to do some. Um, but any kind of um, medium that you like using will be brilliant for these. Then you also get this gorgeous one here, which is kind of like a frame that actually would work on the front of your envelope if you wanted to as well, because you could write your address inside it. But um, with the coordinating dies, you actually get the die to cut it out and also to cut the rectangle out the centre. So you can do... Um, I mean, you could stamp this onto a card, just cut the rectangle out and have it a shaker behind that aperture, or you could cut the whole thing out and have it like a frame element, or you could just cut the outside out and then cut another piece of card out with the rectangle and decoupage it up as well. So lots of different options with that too. And then the words that you get in this one are uh, quite a few mix and matchy kind of words so you can build your own sentiments. But you've got happy birthday, thank you, sending hugs, for you, and then you've got you can do lots of love you can do with love you can do just to say you can do um one of the cards i've done i've put just to say thank you uh, for being my friend because i just chopped the you off the end here because you've got for being you so you can do thank you for being you um and then you've also got your way to you um and so much as well for lots of different um combinations of words and a lot of these will probably work with um, any of like the sentiment strip dies or other dies that you might have from Tonic that have got gorgeous sentiments in them as well. So that is the stamp set. And then for the coordinating dies, you're also getting, let me put them all on top so you can see exactly which ones coordinate where. So, let me hold this up. These are, oh, you can't really see now, this is sort of the same colour, but these are the ones that have the matching dye. So this big cluster has the matching dye. This little flower, this little fl uh, foliage and floral cluster, this little flower, the outside of this piece and the inside little rectangle as well. And they are really easy to line up. In um, I've done a step-by-step -step with like pictures and writing that I think will either be on the Tonic website or on the Tonic blog um, and I showed how you can cut the um, aperture, stamp the design inside and then place the blank die cuts back in it to get it to re repeatedly stamp perfectly on the die cuts for you but um, they are really simple to line up so if you're just doing like a one-off like cutting this one it is really easy to line the die up around the edge because if I bring this up closer so you can see it I hope you can kind of tell you can still see the whole design through the die so some dies um, kind of cut off bits of the detail and then you can't really tell if it's perfectly lined up but you can actually still see the whole stamp design so when you're placing the die on top just make sure that you've got like an equal border around where the black line is and where the die, the metal of the die starts and then it will cut it absolutely perfectly and then um, I, 
I've always thought, um, what's the point in having the matching die for a, um, a stamp set? And I'd never actually had any of them until the adorable stamps came out from Tonic and they had the matching dies with them. And I was like, OK, I don't really need the matching dies, but, you know, I've got I've been given them. Um, so I use them and then I love the matching dies now. The the effect that you get is so professional and I've just got this one cut out. It hasn't got the stamp on it, but because it's the die, it it gives that proper beveled professional edge on it. And I really do think it's worth having the matching die to go with a stamp set, especially if it's one you're going to use a lot or one that's really versatile as well. So um, I definitely think um, this concept of having the matching die for the stamp set is really great as well. And I don't know whether... Did I have a piece on here? No, I didn't in the end. I wasn't sure if I had one um, where I had fussy cut it as well. I might actually do that. I'll come back. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. So, from a distance, there's not that much difference between this one being fussy cut and this one being cut with a die. But if I show you them up close, you can kind of see the difference. So, you, I mean, this one's not stamped as well. It's not as in a, 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 a rich black ink as the other one. Um, but just that professional beveled edge, it really gives a difference to the stamped image. Like whereas this one, I've used the um, micro serrated scissors from Tonic and you do get that little tiny bit of like a perforation when you're looking really close. I mean, this is really close up. Most people probably wouldn't be able to see that very easily just with their eyes. Um, but I, I really do think having the matching die just gives it a little bit of like extra professional looking. Um, and it also saves your hand because especially if you've been colouring them in your hand's probably going to hurt after colouring all these images in and then to have to sit and fussy cut them out as well um, it's so much quicker and easier to have the dies it actually made my video making um, process quicker because I didn't have to like stop the camera and sit and fussy cut um, for like half an hour I could literally just run them through my die cutting machine which was brilliant so I just wanted to show you that kind of professional edge look and also uh, just to highlight that is the amount of white that you get around the edge of the image as well so it's just like maybe a couple millimeters it's not too much so I know some dies cut out and give you like three four millimeters around the edge and it kind of gives that look of like a sticker and it doesn't really look as nice as you might want it to but these dies give that same amount of white that you would leave if you were cutting it yourself so I just wanted to highlight that as well. I really do think the dies are worth it. Um, so I thought I would show that. And then, um, let me just put all of these dies on here so I don't lose any of them. Okay, and then, so as well as, I think this is like, this is the main stamp set for this stamp club. And then obviously the matching dies as well. But as well as that, if you're really into um, your stamping and you want something else to kind of coordinate and go along with it, there is also this one, which is an extra die set, which is called Happy Mail Envelope Stamp Set. Um, and it's got all sorts of gorgeous, different, um, really like funny and punny kind of words in it as well and also like cute little um decorative pieces that could be used on the front of your envelope to write your address in or um even if you're just hand delivering it's quite nice to be able to write someone's uh, name on a quirky little stamp that you've stamped on the front or I actually used this wooden sign on the front of one of my cards as well because I thought it was really lovely um I'll show you this up close and then I will read out what the little sentiments say as well. Again, sorry that it's a little bit dirty. Um, but this is that gorgeous sort of signpost. Then you've got a little um, like American style post box with some letters coming out of it. You've got this gorgeous one which is a quarter circle design so you could stamp that four times if you wanted to and build a central design and colour it in beautifully kind of like it's almost like a mosaic or a, a simplified mandala -y kind of looking thing. Um, or you could stamp it on the op two opposite corners of your envelope or on the back flap of your envelope as well. You, um, it would fit really nicely on there. So lots of options for this quarter circle. I love this one with the little paper aeroplane. 
a little tiny heart you can never have too many little hearts um, another kind of um, box sort of design that you could use to stamp on the front of your envelope and you could put the person's name in here and then put their address in the main box then this one is adorable sorry it looks a little bit weird you'll see it on one of my cards but it says snail mail and it's a gorgeous little snail with an envelope like tucked into part of the swell on his shell um, and then all of the rest is all words on here that are either designed to decorate the envelope um, as the name suggests it says happy mail um, or you can actually use them on the back of your cards as well and they're really like funny different sentiments so um, you've got you've got mail you've got hand stamped because I can't draw which I think is hilarious you've got happy mail you've got crafted with love you've got sweet friend I miss you handmade just for you you've got a teeny weeny um, to and from which you could put on a gift tag if you wanted to you've got this one that says pretty please do not bend thank you which I really love that one um, then you've got licked with my spit which is really funny um, I made this for you um, hand stamped by oh well this one you could do I made this for you you can never throw it away which I think is really funny or you can also do I made this for you act impressed um, thinking of you you've got smiles you've got um, sending and then you could do smiles your way sending happy thoughts your way um, You've got, oh yeah, I said sweet sweet friend. You've also got pretty lady, dude, baby, hugs, love, across the miles and smiles. So you can do um, sending smiles across the miles, uh, which is really lovely as well, or sending hugs across the miles. And you can build them up onto this little sign, which I've actually done on one of my cards as well. So those are... That is the main stamp set and then I showed you the coordinating dies and then this is like the extra add-on stamp set that is an option that you can buy if you want to, um, which I think is a really good versatile one. I'm not sure if they're going to do this every month, have the extra stamp set or whether this is just because it's the first one, but I think this is a really um, lovely, versatile, useful stamp set that you're going to keep coming back to. So that is all of the stamps and dies and then I have got the um, cards that I've made. So I have done a sped up video that is making these two cards. Um, this one is, I did some really light ink blending in the background with the mint macaroon and Moroccan teal um, Nouveau mini hybrid ink pads and one of the... Um, tonic blending brushes, the Nouveau blending brushes, these are brilliant for getting that soft blend on there and then I over stamped a little bit uh, with one of the the small little floral cluster uh, just to give some interest in the background and then I went to town properly colouring in this gorgeous design I was using my Nouveau alcohol pens to colour this this was like the coral reef kind of um, colour family, this was going into slightly more of the red tones um, and these were some of the gorgeous yellow tones in there as well and the uh, greenery is Irish clover and organic greens I think um, but I'll, I'll try to link the sets of pens that I used below the video as well just in case you're interested um, in the colour families that I was using and you can see how I have die cut the flower design out and on this one I did actually colour some of this empty space uh, with green so it kind of makes it look more like a cluster without having the white between some of the flowers which I thought was um, you know nice to sort of fill in that gap and then for the thank you I just stamped the thank you and then drew a scribbly black border around the edge and then trimmed it out and I've just added some um, sequins going across and I used the new um, blue dream drops I've put the bottle away now I can't remember what the name is I think it's frosted aqua the dream drop that came out in the white wonderland colour trend and also on the little um, like stamen in the middle of the flowers I've used the honey gold uh, glitter nouveau drops on those as well so that is the first flower, first flower, the first card in one of the sped up videos that I filmed and this is the second card in it. You can see how I've used that little wooden sign. Um, I've cut out the little sprig of flowers and the two separate flowers and I've also used this panel. 
so this panel here that you can cut into a frame and stuff I've stamped that onto the card first but then I've put that wooden sign over the top of it so it kind of adds a load of um, foliage and flowers behind the sign and then I've used the ones that I've die cut out to kind of bring it to the forefront and in, in front of the sign. I've used Sending Happy Thoughts Your Way, which is from the envelope set, as well as the sign. And I've also put the little snail there as well, which is just adorable. And I added one of the little Cherry Heart Nouveau gems onto his envelope as well. And then the same with the sequins, it's the same dream drops in the centres and on the little centres of the flowers is um, the honey gold glitter drops and the background on this one was the same ink blending but I also took the lightest blue um, Nouveau pen it is, I haven't put it back yet I think it is 425 425 I think um, and just drew a few little dots to kind of give um, something extra to the background in a few different places so that was that is one video that will be up um, so a sped up style video, making those two in the same video. Then I have also done another sped up video, making this one, and this will be my um, blog hop blog post, will be this one. Um, so as you're watching this, um, I guess whenever the blog hop goes live, this video will be live on my blog, but I might wait a day or two until I make it live on, my, on here on my YouTube channel. So uh, I thought I would do a shaker, because one of the amazing things about having a stamp with a coordinating die is you can do all sorts of other like not only is it great to save the fussy cutting and make it a lot quicker to cut something out because you can die cut it it also means you can do so many other techniques with it so you can do um, this kind of technique where you cut the aperture in the front and then recess the design inside and create a shaker or you could have just made the front of this card a window um, with the aperture and then put the stamp design on the inside of the card as well or you can even uh, if you like making your really large cards you could even um, create a bigger aperture using like a rectangle die or maybe even an oval and then um, have this whole element as like a spinner element in the middle and because you've got the die to cut it out you can then cut another of the die cuts to stick behind to sandwich the thread behind the stamped image as well so loads of different um, extra ideas that become much more easy easier to accomplish by having a matching die to go with it as well um, and this one I did actually colour with my Copic markers just because I really fancied colouring with them um, so I've got like some quite dark tones in there as well to get some nice shading. And I've used the um, Harlequin, yes, Diamond Harlequin um, confetti in that, which is from the Golden Years confetti pack. And I've just put some microbeads in there as well to try and help them shake around. Um, I always find if I'm adding a coloured image behind something, you want to use just a clear or an iridescent clear kind of uh, confetti so that at least from one angle you can still actually see the coloured image in there even though the light might be reflecting off it at this angle, you can actually still um, see it in there as well. So that is the second sped up video which will be my blog hot blog post as well. And then this one um, is the step by step that I did so if you want to find out how I do this kind of um, ink blendy background with a little bit of stamping on it and how I decide my composition and what colours to use and stuff then there, there will be a photographic step by step somewhere it will either be on the Tonic blog or it will be on the Tonic website but it will be somewhere at some point um, hopefully around the same time as the launch and I also uh, did a matching envelope as well just to show that you can like add the little um, aeroplane and the little snail and then write who it's for and then you can also put like the pretty please do not bend on the back of the envelope as well or you can do any kind of mixture of these you could put the do not bend on the front and the snail on the back um, loads of different combinations as well um, and I really like how this card turned out I used the Metro Grey um, Nouveau Hybrid ink pad and again one of those Nouveau blending brushes to get this um, gorgeous blended effect down the card um, then I was also stamping with first and second generation of the Nouveau ink pad with the happy birthday sentiment I also watered down some of the Luna Rocket um, Nouveau shimmer powder and splattered that in the background and then I uh, stamped and cut out multiples of those flowers using my where did I put it here 
using this method of where you um, line up the stamps on your stamping platform so that you can just keep putting a blank die cut back in and stamping them multiple times so it's really quick and easy to get all of your stamped images and then I did just use my uh, Nuva alcohol pens again to colour them in and I've also used the honey gold on the little stamen in them as well and then I used some of the crystal gems this time scattered a few of the crystal gems on there rather than using sequins um, and I thought it turned out really sweet and having like a rainbow of flowers but you can mix this um, and just be like an ombre of flowers so that stick with the same colour but go from light to dark or um, they could all just be the same colour if you wanted to um, and also you can obviously watercolour them in um, rather than using alcohol pens if you want to as well so um, I hope you enjoyed this really exciting up close video because of this brand new stamp club launch which um, I really can't wait to see what next month brings. We've only just had this month and I can't wait for the next month. Um, but I hope you um, are really excited about this launch as well because I know Tonic are mostly known for, well in the UK they're mostly known for their dyes and I think in the USA they're more known for their Nouveau but I, I am really loving that they're now coming into like the stamp um, kind of market as well so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one don't forget to check out the links below the video to grab your stamp set and die set if you want it and also the blog hop as well because um, I've been informed that there's going to be loads of really great people in the blog hop I don't know who they are yet but there's going to be lots of great people so I can't wait to see what everybody else does with this stamp set as well so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!